always find funny. But I've actually noticed it's like over the past weekend and now uh, this one is that only when the week starts does it rain. Hard as shit for no fun. Like there was practically no rain the whole week. Why am I talking about the way? Okay. Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Six is here and welcome back to another Real Talk Tuesday video. Yes, I am not in my room. I am in the living room. I thought I'd have a change of scenery besides I'm home alone and thought, hey, I'm just, you know, might as well. I'm in, my, I'm in my favorite comfy chair that makes me look small as shit. Let's do this. You're quite literally going against the flow of popularity. Now, what do I mean by that? Talking about taking people along the journey that is your life when not too many people are asking for it. Like there, there's no demand for it at all. You see all the popular YouTubers since the website became a magnet for internet traffic. All of them started out with a niche content, being trying to make you laugh, talking about stuff that most people would think twice about starting a conversation over, building a car, car spotting, playing for slash reviewing games. Whatever that starter content was, they they started with that and built a viewer for slash fan base around it. And only once the fan base was there. Only when the people watching the videos became so interested in the person making the videos and talking to the camera did they decide to do a vlog. Jumped head first into that then I now I'm part of a Facebook group of a few of a few South African YouTubers and a month or two ago I asked the question. What's your channel's main type of content? What's the kind of videos that you do the most and put up on your channel? Most of the people who answered the question said vlogs. Now, before I hit the needle on the head, even though I kind of sort of did, granted that if you were previously popular in a real life situation or across any other social media platform that is not YouTube, and by that I mean when you post a picture or video on any other social network that is not YouTube, you garner attention so significant that you basically break the internet in your little spectrum, then cool. In my opinion, then, yo, vlog your life. Your followers will most probably be very appreciative that you're showing them more than a 10 second snap or one minute Instagram video or that one moment you linked up with a bunch of your friends and did some dope shit. But the way I see it, vlogging your life only makes sense when there's a significant amount of attention on you, not before. I mean, superwoman. 2015's YouTuber of the year. She only decided to make a vlog channel, a vlogging channel, and do vlogs way after she had a million subscribers. I think it was like around four or five, I think. Uh, I'm not too sure. I only found out that she has a vlogging channel when she was like around six million. And you could argue that someone like Casey Neistat, who only mostly does vlogs and is most popularly known for his vlogs, is, well, doing vlogs, started out with vlogs, and that's all he basically does. But here's the thing with Casey Neistat, though. Before Casey Neistat came along, vlogs weren't exactly called vlogs. They were called day-in-the-life videos. Casey Neistat coined the term vlog. And I'm doing the Casey Neistat as we speak right now. But Casey Neistat basically coined the term vlog, right? And he basically pioneered the also famous vlogging rig. So, in a nutshell, you could basically say that Casey Neistat is the father of vlogs post day in the life era. So, you can't necessarily count Casey Neistat because he is what you could basically call a one in a thousand success rate person example thing. I mean you could look at Mo Vlogs for example. A stupidly wealthy Dubai kid who is surrounded by a myriad of supercars and quite literally the example of the luxury life, right? Before he started doing YouTube there was already a myriad of people who had eyes on this dude from all of his other platforms of social media. Why? Because you get this kid who's seen in car after car after car, not just normal cars, but like freaking expensive, exclusive supercars and shit, right? There was already so much attention around Mo Vlogs that when he decided to start doing Mo Vlogs, it was just him picking up a camera and documenting his life and essentially making a business out of it. 
and that's from what I've seen all that Mo does. You get you do you get like the stance of my perspective on this whole thing, really? Now, to all the YouTubers and especially the South African YouTubers that are doing vlogs and are good at vlogs, and I've watched some of you guys' videos. Some of you are really good at what you do when it comes to the vlogs. I'm not saying you should stop doing what you're doing. By all means, don't stop. This is just really my opinion on what I've seen as essentially a problem with South African YouTubers. There's no variation. A lot of people, a lot of, a lot of YouTubers stick to vlogs because they seem to be an easy thing to make. I mean, all you basically do is pick up a camera and record everything that you're doing throughout a day and then at the end of the day, edit it into a 10 to 20 minute video and put it out onto the internet. There isn't really that much form of creativity behind a vlog you're just basically picking up the camera and recording shit you know you don't have to like sit down write a script or think of ideas when it comes to a vlog and i'm not denouncing vlogs at all honestly i applaud people who do vlogs especially daily vlogs because that takes a lot of time and energy and you basically don't sleep as it is it's just like i said just now man there isn't that much variation in most of the videos i've seen like everyone everyone wants to vlog their lives everyone wants to talk about their lives there isn't there isn't enough people like trying out different things and doing different things you know experimenting with a different kind of video essentially i mean last week last week's real talk tuesday video i tried to do a video like philip defranco in my eyes i fucking failed at doing that shit but at least i tried to do something new instead of standing in front of my bookcase and doing a normal real talk tuesday video i decided to just really wing it and talk about something with no prior preparation except reading the news article like one or two times and doing some other light research you get my point but then again you don't really have to listen to me <laughs> this is just my opinion i'm just probably one the only person who has this opinion. Like I said, vlogs can be difficult to make, especially daily ones. They get draining in nearly every other aspect there is. So props to the people who are doing vlogs and props to the ones that are actually building a fan base around it. It's it's kind of difficult to do, really, but I've seen, I've seen, I'm seeing people build fan bases around their vlogs and yo, Props to y'all. Don't stop making them just because I'm making this video about it. I'm just expressing what I see could be a potential problem in South African YouTube really taking so long to get the ball rolling. Then again, that's just me and that's my opinion. So that has been it for this week's Real Talk Tuesday, guys. Hope you enjoyed that, found some form of perspective or anything, really. And if you're thinking about making a YouTube channel, maybe this was helpful for you. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? But as long as you enjoyed what you've watched, then I'm happy, really. But anyways, if you like what I do on this channel, again, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more content. A subscription would help, because that's the only way you really know about me doing videos unless you follow me on all my other social medias, which are going to be at the end screen. But apart from that, as always, it's your boy Six. This has been a Real Talk Tuesday. I will see you guys again on Thursday for a Thursday thing. Until then, Stay flat. I am too far away from the camera to like do, do the thing. So yeah, <laughs> later guys. Baby,